Do you know how to set superheat? This is one of the key things in refrigeration, setting superheat. And you're gonna set superheat differently depending on the application. If you're using a TEV or a TXV, you're gonna have to mechanically set the superheat. If you're using an electronic valve now, you're gonna have to set it through a controller. You're gonna need to understand how to set both up. And the last thing you do on any service call is adjust the TXV or the superheat set point. Because if that system has been set up properly already and there's something wrong with it, adjusting the TXV may get you out of that situation for the first few minutes, but that next day you'll be back there on that call. How do you set it up? Well, you need the outlet pressure and the outlet temperature of the evaporator. You do your superheat calculation to find out what that actual superheat is. And there's many different types of superheat in a system. There's evaporator superheat, there's compressor superheat, and there's discharge superheat, depending on what you're checking. So these are key things that you want to understand and how you check them, because this is gonna help your system live a long life, efficient life as well. I'd love to hear your questions down below on how you set superheat for a glide refrigerant. How do you set compressor superheat? How do you set discharge superheat? Leave it in the comments below. And if you wanna learn more about Refrigeration Mentor, head to the refrigerationmentor.com website. Let's get a conversation going.